All right, welcome to my new video this week for Into the Tech World. I'm gonna show you the process of how I paid $105.12 for a laptop. Let's get started. All right, so you have the Allstate protection plans. You have the Assurion protection plan, three years. And then you have the Amazon tab protection plan. What do the all plans have in common? Well, they're called electronics insurance plans or portable device insurance plans. I'm pretty sure you've seen these. If you could probably go to Amazon or if you could probably go to your retail store, somebody's offering an electronics insurance plan, Best Buy, Target, Apple have their own. All right. So I'm going to tell you all about the Assuring Home Plus electronics device and insurance plan. It's the one that I had for two years. I paid $24.99 a month plus tax. And what did it provide me? Extensive device protection, easy repairs and replacements, expert tech support. So Assuring Home Plus ties into how I paid $105.12 for a laptop. You can probably already guess right now is that yes, I paid $105.12 because I had to replace my laptop. All right, and I'm gonna show you the process right now how to get that all done. All right, so first you go to Assuring Home Plus, then you gotta start a claim. Once you start a claim, you go to the next screen. All right, so you gotta choose the type of product it is. Mine's was a laptop. You got desktops, you got a handheld video game players, headphones, earbuds, television, video game consoles, tablets, smartwatches. So basically, your Assuring Home Plus covers a lot of devices, a lot of. So I'm gonna just go over them right now. You got the LED, LCD, and plasma TVs, gaming systems, including original remote controllers, audio headsets, DVD, and Blu-ray players, home theater systems in a box, including receivers, subwoofers, amplifiers, tuners, speakers, and sound bars, desktop computers, laptop, tablets, and e-readers, including one associated modem, mouse, keyboard, wired speaker, and external monitor per device, printers, external hard drives, routers, audio video streaming devices, smart speakers, smart thermostats, smart smoke and carbon monoxide detectors, smart door locks, smart video doorbells, smart light dimmers, smart home security camera, smart watches and health and fitness bands, which you have an Apple watch, Samsung Galaxy watch, those type of like um, fitness, you know, health and fitness bands, smart watches. Okay. So they cover a lot and I actually have a lot of devices. So technically that's why I thought it was important for me to get this plan because I have a lot of devices myself. I pretty much, whatever I just talked about, you know, I listed of the products, devices that they cover. I pretty much have a lot of them, except I don't have the smart door locks, smart video doorbells. So I felt for me, it was worth it. Is it worth it for you? If you have a lot of devices, I think I have over like 16 devices that I counted, then yes, it's probably worth it. But I'll go, I'll talk about that later on in the video, probably at the end of the video. Okay, what product are you having issues with? Of course, mine was an Apple laptop. I actually had to put the model number in there so you could recognize it. Okay, what happened to your laptop? Stop working. So you have, it was accidentally damaged, it stopped working. Mine was stop working. Okay, what's wrong with your laptop? So it's on the Sharing Home Plus website, they give you a bunch of, a bunch of, um, you know, exam, you know, they give a, bu a bunch of stuff you can, uh, you can select, a bunch of issues you can select. So basically, I chose overheating screen isn't working, operating system or app issues, camera isn't working. They had a lot more than this, but I couldn't fit it all on the screen. So basically, I just uh, showed you a few of them. You just have to choose all that applies to whatever your device you're claiming. Okay, how often does it occur? All the time, sometimes. Mine was all the time. Tell us more about what's wrong. So you have to put, when did it happen? Now, they're not going to call you out if you don't have the exact date. You don't have the exact date. You just have the approximate date it happened. Um, so tell us what's wrong in your own words. Basically, my laptop overheats every time I turn it on, which was true. My camera stopped working. It's not true for my laptop that I claimed. The sound on my laptop is muffled, so which is true is I had a crackling sound. My laptop doesn't keep a charge, which was true, because the battery, it just kept, it just wouldn't keep a charge. So I always had to keep it on all the time, plugged in all the time. So basically I have it right here. I have to keep it plugged in all day in order for it not to die. And those are actually the reasons that I actually put in there, except my camera's not working. Um, and then you just hit continue. All right, so this is basically the instructions. 
uh, how to like uh, submit the form that they send you. And I'm not gonna go over this. Um, you know, I'm gonna go over the actual form that they actually uh, send you. Let's go to the next page. So this is the actual form that they're gonna send you. All right. So you wanna put your product details in there, uh, product description, manufacturing, uh, the model number, the seal number. Those are, that's extremely important. The model number, seal number is important and I'll explain why. Uh, claim details. Basically you wanna put uh, what happened. You know, you wanna choose drop spill correct. Screen, malfunctions, you wanna just put the exact reason. You know, wanna describe the failure. Basically it has in here. Okay, describe what happened. Um, and then of course you're gonna have your signature. Like I say, you're gonna put your account number at the top. So it says personal information of an enrolled subscriber. The most important, you know, is your account number. Definitely have that written down somewhere. Or keep the email to, you know, the original email that you signed up when you signed up for it. And it could be any type of insurance plan, you know, electronics insurance plan. Now, some of this might be different. A lot of it probably be different. The way you submit a claim it could be similar. Um, so then it says it like there, upload your documents. It tells you to, you know, the uh, email address to do that. And then you email, email your documents to, of course, this will be Assurian. Okay. And then once you do all that, you know, you got to print out there. There's a re repair form. You got to, you got you to gotta, you gotta print out, uh, fill out the repair form, which I think it was, you know, the claim facilitation form that we just did. But I don't know if it was a different form. I can't remember. I try to remember. But yeah, I think it was a different form. Yeah. So once you send the claim uh, facilitation form, they're going to actually send you a repair form. So once that gets approved, the claim facilitation form, excuse me, they'll send you a repair form and that's what you have to fill out. So basically what I did, they give you two choices. I could have went to you break, I fix store and see if it needed a repair because they have to find out if they if they can repair it first before they send you a replacement or for they replace your um, your device, your product, whatever it is. Um, so I choose to just pay them, send it to them. So that's where the $104.12 came in. That's how much I paid them to for them to actually look at my device. I send it out to them, see if it needs repair. If not, they sent me out a replacement. So I felt the repair form went to the UPS store and they packed it up for me. Just put it head in a box. They packed it up for me. And then that, that was pretty much it. And I just had to wait and see, you know, from email and like within like, a, what is to say, five days or something like that? Yeah, most repairs, so yeah. So like for like five business days a week, basically say about a week. I, they sent me an email to see if they was uh, repair it or they're going to send me uh, a replacement. And what was it? Oh, boom. We'll replace that for you. So that's the email they sent me. Uh, choose a replacement similar to yours and we'll ship it to you at no extra cost, which was true. So my laptop that I had was a MacBook Pro. It was 13.3 uh, inches, 8 gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of storage. So basically, they're going to send one similar to me. So they gave me two choices. And I'm going to tell you which choice that I, you know, the laptop that I chose. All right. So this is the laptop that I chose. Um, it's a MacBook Air. And it's pretty much the, about the same size. Um, more, definitely way more storage. It's like 264, uh, four gigabytes of storage, eight gigabytes of uh, RAM. And then the, the, the big thing was that it's a 2020. So they didn't give me a 2022, 2023, which I didn't expect. Like I said, my laptop was 2012. So they basically shipped me whatever they had in, you know, you know, in, in an inventory. Uh, and I was proud. I was happy for it because anything, you know, then, you know, better than my 2012 because that was just way too old. So I was happy to get into 2020 and I would say it works fine. It's great. So now the point is um, that I said I was going to bring up is that is it worth it for you to have any type of electronics insurance plans or portal device insurance plans. Like I said, you go to the Best Buy, you go to those Targets, um, you go to those retail stores and they're going to offer it when you check out. I always say this, number one, if you have a lot of electronics, it's probably going to be worth it. Number two, I don't know if I would pay $24.99 a month. That's a lot. So I had it for two years. So I pretty much paid a couple of grand for it. Now your devices are not going to break within a week. It might. Like I said, more than likely, it's going to probably take a year, maybe a couple of years, three years for your, your electronic devices to break or something to go wrong with it. Unless you're clumsy, you spill things on it, you drop it, whatever. You have to make that choice. What I would say is that instead of like maybe paying a monthly plan for it, do like a two or three year plan. But make sure you read the fine print. If you have any questions at all, call them. 
Because when you go to like a retail store, I don't know if the retail worker is going to be experienced enough or know, know more about the insurance plan, protection plan to actually give you the details of what that actual plan covers. Because that's the most important thing, what devices it's going to cover. Luckily, Assuring Home Plus covered all those that I read off to you. So definitely read the contract uh, before you sign up for anything. If you want to just get the information and read it over, I will highly do that and do your research and call them up. Call the actual, you know, whoever's, um, you know, giving out that plan, whoever's plan it is, whether it's a Shurion, um, you know, whether it's uh, Amazon, you know, whether it's Apple's, you know, call them up and actually find out what, what they cover. And that's pretty much it uh, for that video. All right, definitely like and subscribe to my channel, please. I, I love you guys. You guys uh, watch my videos. My videos are not like the norm videos that people make out there. So I make videos to help people. A lot of it's like tech for now, but I'm gonna actually make some videos other than tech. You know, I like to help people. That's what I've been doing my, my whole career. If it can help you out, people, uh, you know, comment to me all the time. They're saying a, a product that I might have reviewed, helped them out, they decide they wanted to buy it or not. So I like to do more videos uh, of that, you know, you know, maybe something different. So definitely like and subscribe. I definitely need a subscribers. I'm going to try to make videos as much as I can. I know that I try to do every week, but that's kind of impossible right now because, uh, you know, I work, you know. So hopefully when I get enough subscribers, I don't have to work. I can uh, count on this, um, you know, to, um, you know, just do this full time. But until then, I got to work and that's it. And goodbye. Have a good day.